true to the year's form, Army spotted Tennessee 14 points before lighting up the scoreboard with a 53-yard 11-play drive, climaxed by Clarence Jones. The Black Knights trailed 14 to seven. A Tennessee bullet was dodged when an orange receiver volunteered assistance with Reggie Fullwood's interception seconds before intermission. Tennessee again vaulted to a 14-point lead to start the second half. After it was 21 to seven, we went right down and kicked the field goal, making it 21 to 10. The next time we got the ball, we went down and scored again. So we felt that we could uh, move the ball and uh, score. I came out of the backfield, defensive end following me downfield. The only thing I could think of was catching the ball no matter what. I caught the ball and fell on my back and he fell on top of me. Took it to the six yard line and from there we took it in. Army went for two and Crawford scored, cutting the margin to three. It was up to the defense to get the ball back in time for the now unstoppable offense. The cadet defense as a whole rose to the challenge. Biggins, Tom Mathers, and Peel Cronister first. Brock and Biggins next. Was there enough time? I had just come out, we put in a rush team, and so I, I, knew, I knew it was gonna be a, a rush. And when we blocked it, I didn't know if they had scored or where the ball was, but I knew that would at least give us a chance. I didn't see it, I just heard it. And I said, no, it wasn't a blocked punt. And then I saw the, our team jumping up and down because he ran it into the end zone. All I heard was the thump. And I turned and I saw that ball rolling into the end zone and I seen Reggie Fullwood pounce on it. And I was one of the first guys out there jumping on him. It was one of, one of the greatest moments I've had since I've been here. Chuck Williams' block had given Army a four-point lead, forcing Tennessee to go for the bundle. Chance Connor and Cronister made a sandwich of one attempt. On the final play of the game, Cronister saved the game by squeezing an orange jersey after it picked a double-tipped pass. And what we always say is play one play with everything you got, forget about it, whether it's good or bad, go on the next, and then play the whole game. And if you do that, at the end of the game, you're gonna end up on the uh, positive side of the scoreboard, and that's certainly uh, what happened in the Tennessee game. 